Lesson 7.10, Word Problem Solving, Find Unknown Fraction Lengths. We can use the strategy Guess, Check, and Revise to solve problems with fractions. We can guess the fraction we need to replace an unknown number and increase or decrease our guess until the results are correct. When we're reading a word problem and we see one-fourth the length, it means one-fourth of the length or one-fourth times the length. If we see one and one-third the length, it means one and one-third of the length or one and one-third times the length. Because one-fourth is less than one whole, this length will be less than the other length. And because this is greater than one whole, this length will be greater than the other length. And remember, to find the area of a rectangle, we use the formula length times width, this L times W. If we have a rectangle and this side is 3 centimeters and this side is 4 centimeters, we multiply 3 times 4. The area is 12 square centimeters. A square has four equal sides, so we can use S squared which means, or s to the second power, which means side times side. If this is 2 centimeters, we multiply 2 times 2. Every side is 2. And 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters would make 4 square centimeters. Sophia wants to make a rectangular latch hook rug that has an area of 3 fourths square yard. And she wants the width to be 1 third the length. What will the dimensions of the rug be? We think the area of a rectangle is length times width. And if the area is 3 fourths square yard, there are two factors that equal 3 fourths. One factor is the length, and the other factor is the width. So what times what is equal to 3 fourths? We need an area of 3 fourths square yard with a width that is 1 third the length. We can try guessing reasonable lengths and widths that when multiplied will equal 3 fourths, whose width is 1 third the length, and we check to see if they fit, and we revise our numbers if they don't fit. We start with a length of 3 fourths yard, and 1 third of that we need to multiply 3 fourths times 1 third, which is 3 twelfths, and we simplify it to 1 fourth yard. Now, for the area, we need to multiply 3 fourths times 1 fourth. We get 3 sixteenths. That's too small. That's not 3 fourths. We can try 7 fourths, and to get 1 third of it, we multiply 7 fourths times 1 third, and that's 7 twelfths yard. Now we need to multiply 7 fourths times 7 twelfths to get the area. Mm, that's 49 forty-eighths. That's too big. That's more than one. We can try five-fourths. If three-fourths was too small and seven-fourths was too big, we could try in the middle with five-fourths. And to find one-third of that for the width, we need to multiply five-fourths times one-third. That's five-twelfths yard. Now to get the area, we need to multiply five-fourths times five-twelfths, and we get twenty-five forty-eighths. Well, 25 is almost half of 48, so that's almost one half. So that's still too small. That's not 3 fourths. So let's go up one more from 5 fourths. We'll try 6 fourths because 5 fourths was too small. 6 fourths simplifies as 3 halves. So that would be 3 halves of a yard or 1 and a half yard, wouldn't it? We multiply 3 halves times 1 third to find that 1 third width. And 3 halves times 1 third is equal to 6, 3 6. We do 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. And that simplifies to a half yard. Now to get the area, we multiply 3 halves times 1 half, and we get 3 fourths. It's perfect. And the rug's length is 3 halves yard, or 1 and a half yard, and its width is a half yard. We know it's a half yard in one direction and one and a half yard in another direction. We multiply one half times 
3 halves, or 1 and a half, and it's equal to 3 fourths square yard. We guessed what the length was. We checked it by multiplying it by a third. If it was too large or too small, we revised our guess, and we kept doing it until we found one that fit. Bob has three pictures on his living room wall. And the blue picture has an area of 12 square inches, the red picture has an area of 48 square inches, and the green picture has an area of 108 square inches. For each picture, the length is one and one-third times the width. And which of these could be dimensions of the picture? We need to circle all that apply. So think, length times width is the area. So our area has to be a 12, a 48, or a 108. When we look at a length times width, here we have 4 times 3, 4 by 3. So that's a maybe. Here we have 6 times 4 for 6 inches by 4 inches. Well, that's 24. So that one doesn't fit. We know it's not this one. This one is 12 inches by 4 inches. That would be 12 times 4. So it might be that one because that's 48. And here's 12 inches by 9 inches. 12 times 9 is 108. That could fit one of them. Could be that one. Here we have 5 inches by 3 inches. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. That doesn't fit any of them. So we know it's not this one. Here we have 8 inches by 5 inches. Well, 8 times 5 is 40. That doesn't fit any of them either, so it's not this one. Here we have 8 inches by 6 inches. Well, 8 times 6 is 48, so it might be that one. And here we have 18 inches by 6 inches. We could do 18 inches by 6 inches real quick on the side to make sure. 18 times 6 is 108, so it might be this one. So now we got rid of these three. We need to look at the length is one and one-third times the width. So for this one, this 18 inches by 6 inches, the length would be one and one-third more than the width. Six would be the one, and one-third more would be two more, wouldn't it? That would be an eight. That would be a six by eight. So that one doesn't fit. But if 6 by 8 does fit, we know this one fits. We can multiply the 6 inches times 1 and 1 third. So we can check it. We do 6 times 1 and 1 third, which is 6 times 4 thirds. We multiply the numerator to the whole number. We get a 24 thirds. We simplify it to an 8. So yes, we have a 6 and an 8. So that one fits. Let's try this one. 4 inches by 3 inches. 3 times 1 and 1 third. We can multiply it by 3 times 4 thirds as 1 and 1 third. We get 12 thirds, which is equal to 4. So yes, we have a 3 and a 4. So that one fits. So we know this one fits and this one fits. Now let's try this 4 times 1 and 1 third to see if it equals 12. Do you think it'll equal 12? 4 times 1 is 4 and 1 third more. Would that make 8 inches? Think about that. Let's try it. We multiply it by 4 thirds for 1 and 1 third. We get 16 thirds, which simplifies to 5 and 1 third. That doesn't equal 12, so it's not this one. Let's try this 12 inches by 9 inches. We would do 9 times 4 thirds. We do 9 times 4 thirds, and we get 36 thirds, and that simplifies to 12. So yes, this one fits. So we know the dimensions of the three pictures. So what we did was, because it was 1 and 1 third times the width, to find the length, this first number, we multiplied the 9 inches, the 3 inches, or the 6 inches by 4 thirds for 1 and 1 third to see if it equaled that first measure.
When we increase our guess for the length of a shorter side, it'll increase the length of the longer side. A rectangle has a length that is two times longer than its width. That's the information we have. The length is two times longer than its width. So, if we have a length that is three for the shorter side, two times that would be six. That would have to be a six. And if we increase our guess to be a four, we have two times four, that's equal to eight. We've just increased the length of the longer side. Because we increased this three to a four, now this side increased to an eight. And if we increase this four to a five, because this is two times longer, it will now increase to a 10. And two is our scaling factor that we multiply by. Lola's dog bed is four feet long. Its width is half its length. What is the area of Lola's bed? So we think, first we need to multiply the four foot length by the half scaling factor to find the width. Then we need to multiply the length times the width to find the area. So we know it's four feet long and its width is half of that. Four times one half is equal to two feet wide. So we know her bed is four feet by two feet. We multiply four times two, which is equal to eight. We know Lola's bed is eight square feet for its area. Mr. Kim's vegetable garden has an area of 120 square feet. Its width is five sixths of its length. What is the length and width of his garden? So we can start guessing length in feet. We can guess six feet. And if the width is 5 6 of that, we do 6 times 5 6. That gives us 36, which simplifies to a 5. And then the area is our guess of 6 times that 5. That's only 30 square feet. That's too small. It needs to be 120 square feet. So let's guess real big. Let's try 18. So if the length is 18, we need to multiply 18 times 5 6 to find the width. We do 18 times 5 for the numerator, we get a 90. That means we have 96. And 6 fits into 90 15 times, so that's 15 feet. And if we multiply 18 times 15 to get the area, we do a little multiplication on the side, that's 270 square feet. That's way too big. So let's go back down. Let's try 12. 12 times 5, 6 to find the width. We do 12 times 5 is 60. We use that denominator. We have 66. That simplifies to 10. And 12 times 10, the length times the width, is equal to 120. That fits perfectly. So we know the garden length is 12 feet and the width is 10 feet. So be very careful with those scaling factors. If it says it's 3 fourths the size, that means we're going to multiply by 3 fourths. If it says it's one and a half times the size, that means we're going to multiply times one and a half. So that's it for chapter seven. We're going to move on to chapter eight, which is all about dividing fractions. I hope I'll see you there and stay safe and stay well. Bye.